Well, the epidemics now is out of control, huh? and this is now a major humanitarian crisis that needs to be tackled differently from previous Ebola crisis in the past, where you would, you know, isolate patients and tracing contacts and uh, isolate those who develop fever, etc. Uh, so this is not, this is out of control. So we need to have alternative ways to control these uh, epidemics. And uh, I think the, the most significant hope comes from vaccination. Uh, first, vaccination of, uh, of uh, caregivers uh, so that they can uh, restart working in hospitals, not only for Ebola, but for all other uh, uh, acute health problems uh, that actually currently kill also people, uh, not only Ebola. Uh, and then, of course, the, ideally, the general population. Well, when you're confronted to a, a crisis of this magnitude and when you are here sitting in your comfortable office, you always wonder, what, what can I do to, to, you know, to be a little bit constructive and do something? Um, and, uh, of course, in the daily work, uh, you're involved in some activities uh, related to Ebola, for example, with returning expatriates, uh, working for ICRC, for the Federation of Red Cross, MSF, and uh, these organizations. But one thing we can do, uh, perhaps as a caregiver, but also as a, as a citizen, is uh, to contribute to the development of this vaccine um, and by being a volunteer for, uh, for this first phase of vaccination uh, to make sure that, um, that this vaccine indeed uh, is safe and uh, produce an immune response that can be uh, perhaps protective. No fear. Uh, yeah, maybe I should get prepared perhaps to have a bit of fever in the day or the two, uh, the two or three days that follows the vaccination, it's possible, um, as it is possible for other types of vaccine that are routinely prescribed. Uh, but knowing the composition of the vaccine, I'm fully aware that I'm not being injected uh, uh, Ebola virus, huh? but uh, uh, just a couple of proteins uh, to fool my immune system that are attached to an uh, attenuated virus that is, uh, that is uh, uh, not pathogenic for humans. Well, if I go there uh, in, in the coming months, um, I would certainly not give up all... The, this is no, no time and, uh, to, uh, you know, to forget the very strict protection rules that uh, one has to follow when he visits, uh, you know, Ebola endemic countries. And uh, a fortiori if you, you visit the treatment centers. But I can imagine that, uh, provided that the vaccine indeed produce uh, an immune response, uh, I can imagine that in case of exposure, if an, any accident happens, um, I will feel mentally more comfortable knowing that I have received the vaccine.